This video outlines an enzymatic method to generate a single cell suspension from mouse spleen prior to the downstream isolation of dendritic cells. Since dendritic cells are closely associated with the spleen tissue, a combination of enzymatic and mechanical methods are required to effectively dissociate them from the tissue to generate a single cell suspension for cell separation with EasySep. Begin by thawing a vial of spleen dissociation medium at room temperature immediately prior to use. Each vial contains 4 milliliters of dissociation medium, which is sufficient for up to 2 spleens. Transfer 1 to 2 freshly harvested spleens to a sterile tissue culture treated dish. Mince the spleens into a homogeneous paste using dissection scissors and forceps. Spleen fragments should be less than one millimeter in size. Next, pour the contents of one vial of spleen dissociation medium into the dish and mix well by pipetting up and down several times. Transfer the suspended spleen fragments and the spleen dissociation medium back to the original tube. Incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature. For best results, Gently agitate the tube every five minutes during the incubation, or place the tube horizontally on a rocking platform with continuous agitation. After the 30 minute incubation, prime a 70 micrometer filter with five milliliters of PBS containing 2% FBS. We will now mechanically dissociate the spleen fragments into a smooth suspension. To do so, Transfer the dissociated tissue and the dissociation medium to the strainer. Gently pass the dissociated tissue through the strainer. Rinse the empty spleen dissociation medium tube and mesh filter with an additional 10 milliliters of PBS containing 2% FBS and add it to the 50 milliliter conical tube. Centrifuge the cell suspension at 300 times G for 10 minutes. Carefully remove and discard the supernatant without disturbing the pellet. Gently tap the tube to dissociate the cell pellet. Resuspend the cells in approximately 500 microliters of PBS containing 2% FBS. Next, add DNase 1 solution to a final concentration of 100 micrograms per milliliter and incubate at room temperature for 10 minutes. This step is optional and you can refer to the product information sheet for your specific EasySep kit for guidance. Following the incubation, you will have a single cell suspension that is ready for cell counting and downstream dendritic cell isolation.